semen retention, and body gains. Coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I wanted to go over why you got to be careful with what people give you. Little charms. They give your kids dolls, bracelets, especially things that you find in yard sales. And we used to call them secondhand stores, man. I remember when I was younger, my mom used to always say that. Be careful what you get from a secondhand store because it could be cursed. You know that movie Chucky is real, man, but it's exaggerated. I, I never seen a doll. I heard about it, but I never seen a doll or witnessed a doll walk in and talk in and doing things like that. They exaggerate that. But what happens is you get one of these dolls or one of these items, one of these statues or something like that. And the spirit of the person who used to have it, all of the energy that they hold, like, let's say kind of like the energy signature is within that doll. And if they was a murderer like Charles Lee Ray, Chucky, the, the real, the man, and he put his, he put himself inside the doll. He wasn't putting his soul or spirit or anything up in there. He was just putting his serial killer energy inside that doll. So when you bring that inside your house, it gets activated with sin. You can have that doll there sitting, your kids playing with it, everything good. And every time you drink, you get triggered start thinking about your father or something like that. And now you get to beating your kids. You, you running out the house. You want to kill people and stuff. You become the Chucky. You is the Chucky. The dog ain't going to kill the people. Your ass is going to be the Amityville horror show. You feel what I'm saying? The Jack Nicholson chasing your damn family down the hallway, man. Here's Johnny, man. Don't let Johnny up in your house, man. When I was young, my grandma, she got these two paint paintings. Paintings, especially the paintings on that like black canvas. And it's like those, those, those oil paintings like the witches be doing a lot of them paintings, man, with the black background. You used to see them a lot like in the 70s and the 80s and stuff. You would see like a panther or somebody with like a big afro or like a naked female. Like them, them type ones that people draw. Mm-mm, bro. Mm-mm. Those things can actually be portals, man. Gateways. They sell them in secondhand stores. You will find them up in... Uh, you will find them up in um, yard sales and stuff like that, man. Especially like with like older people, like elderly, like that have money and stuff. You're going to see them. Don't touch them. I remember when I was younger, my mom, she got these two paintings. It was one of this little white boy. He had real big blue eyes and he used to just, well, orange hair. I don't know why the hell she got that. And she got one of Snoopy. It was like a baseball hitting him on the head, and then it was like Z's, like he was going to sleep, like he got knocked out. That one was pretty cool, but the little boy one, she hung that up in our room, and I was always scared of that. When, when we got that, I started having nightmares. I remember one night, I was, uh, I had a headache, and I'm probably like about eight year, eight or nine years old, and that picture is there, and for the last couple of days, It'll wake me up at night, right? It'll wake me up like at like three in the morning, like through the thought, like I just wake up and I'll be looking at it like scared. And it started like looking at me, like, like looking at me, like it was so crazy. It was alive. And then all of a sudden that night I had a headache and then the picture, it told me to go downstairs and take a lot of Tylenols. I still remember this, man. My moms do too. It told me to take a lot of Tylenols. Like I took one and then it was in my head. It said, no, 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 no. In order for it to work, like the grown people, you got to take a lot of them. And I just took like 10 Tylenols, man, for real. And then my, my forehead right here, 
first I started acting crazy, like talking to my brother, like gibberish and stuff. I woke everybody in the damn house up. I was like going crazy and stuff like that. I was telling them picture talking and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, my forehead right here started swelling up. And my mom's was like, oh, there's something wrong with him. So they took me to the doctor and then they gave me some charcoal and a shot, all types of the different stuff that I forgot about. But the main thing I'm saying is them damn pictures be hunted, man. Things that you get from people can have an energy signature up in it. You take that damn thing up in your house, man, and you have uncontrollable munchies, man. It didn't happen to me before. I've had the uncontrollable munchies to where it was like an emptiness in my stomach to where I could not stop eating. I'm not lying, man. I eat a whole burrito. And then like right after that, I just started eating like chips and like cookies. It was like I was mad that I was getting full because I wanted to eat more. I had to pray it off me, man. Yeah, this is true. You bring certain things in your house. My mom's had a statue that she got on the TBN channel and it had an angel. You know, the angel Michael. Yeah, I think it's Michael. And then he he got the serpent up under him. He got Satan and he, he bought the slain light. She had a statue like that. And both of my nieces, they was babies. They always screamed when they was a, by that statue. And my daughter, when my moms kept her when she was a little baby, she always used to cry. And my son, when he went to that spot for the first time, he bust his head open and it was bleeding like right there by the thing. And I told my moms, I said, yeah, I had an epiphany. No, for real. I, the, the most high told me, he said, this thing is cursed. It got a demon in it. And I was like, but she got it from TBN, the, the you know, the Christian network and stuff like that. And it was like, and... <laughs> And just because you got it from there don't mean you got it from Marilyn Hickey. You feel what I'm saying? From, from what's his name? Joe Osteen didn't just hand deliver this to you. It could have been the straight sicko that wrapped all that up, prayed over it, and sucked it to you. Wormwood, semen retention, and body gangs. Look. I buy every single thing that I got, like new. I don't be messing with no statues or none of that, no dolls, especially them cabbage patches or none of that type of stuff. No, no Halloween ornaments, no Christmas, no Christmas decor, none of that type of stuff, man, because anything that's low, low vibing, like all of the stuff that I named, it, it, it attached spirits, and those spirits use those things as houses until they find you. And you bring it into your house, and it just waits for you to do a sin. As soon as you do a sin, your energy lowers. The Most High ain't around low energy like that, so he leave. Now you're vulnerable. It hops up into you. You might got a cursed toy. And now you're wondering why your kids keep peeing in the bed, keep keep being bad. They probably don't even have no ADD. They probably is just have a lot of worms, spiritual tapeworms that attached to these children because you keep shopping at the damn secondhand store, man. Wormwood. Semen retail. Oh, I already said that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back at you with another video. Peace.